Hi everyone, this is Anna from BP State Team and today I will guide you through our newest team update Vprezi Dance 4.11. I will start by showing you our two new demos for real estate. The first one is called sandiego.vprezidance.net. We created this demo having in mind how single agents need their websites to look and feel. We used the team site menu, we added the agent image as logo, and home homepage and internal pages. We added content and information with the president's elemental widgets and the team pre-built widgets and real estate functions. Our second new demo is available at baltimore.vpresident.net. This is also a demo had in mind for single agents. On homepage, we use different team widgets to list properties, information about the agent office, video, agents, blog posts, featured areas, and we also added some extra information like testimonials and contact form, which we know they are important. You can import the new demos after you update to be presidents 4.11 with one-click demo import solution available in the team. We will follow up with detailed videos for how to import each of these new demos and they will be published on our channel along with the other 41 videos we have for each available demo. Another new option added at our client's request is the possibility to use a different measurement unit for property lot size field. This is now available as feature and you can set it from team options. We also add a new content grid widget that you can integrate in your elementor base pages. The widget displays your chosen properties, blog articles or agents and you can add exactly which items to display based on the post ID. In the styling options you can manage the look of the widget and change font sizes and spaces between details. We also add support for free DS type payments. The changes are done in the team code mostly, but in team options, you have a new email that will inform clients paying with free DS that they need to authorize the payment in case of recurring payments. Another new option in this team update is the possibility to register and deregister your buyer license from team options directly. You will be prompted to add your license and buyer username after you update and then you will have control to register and deregister in case you need to move the license to another domain from team options. There are a few other changes that you can read about in our help. We will wrap our video here but we invite you to subscribe to our channel. This way you will be informed when we will publish new videos about the presidency functionality and demos on our channel. Thank you for watching.